I film this episode because of what is happening in our environment today, because of what is happening in our society, in our world today. People are dying every day. People are killing themselves. People are committing suicide because they failed. Probably because others call them failures. They could not withstand it. It's not about how many times a man falls or he fails that matters in life. Is how many times he was able to rise up again. That is what matters. And I hope you will benefit a few things from this episode. Happy watching! positive vibe you know that ginger you know that spices that aroma you know i'm not for positivity and on today's episode i'm going to be talking about failure learning how to fail and how to i'm going to tell you giving you tips on how to overcome failure mm, nobody wants to fail everybody want to be a success everybody want to succeed in life what if the person has already failed oh, what if the person is already in a mess what if you are already in a mess? What if you have already disappointed yourself? What if it has already happened? I'm going to be telling you what to do. I'm going to be telling you how to overcome failure. And if you want to know, please don't go anywhere. I'm going on a short break now. I'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. ta -da! You're welcome back to my channel. So we're still discussing failure. You know, people don't want to fail. Nobody wants to fail. People don't want to. They don't want to fail themselves. They don't want to fail their parents. They don't want to fail their dad, their mom, their husband does not want to fail their wife. Wife does not want to fail the husband. You know, they don't want to fail their spouse. Nobody wants to fail their friends. Parents don't want to fail their children. Children don't want to fail their their, their parents, they don't want to fail their siblings, you know, nobody wants to fail and because of the fear of fa failure, people don't want to try, why? Because they don't want to embarrass themselves, people don't want to disappoint themselves, so they, they are stagnant, their life is just fist because of fear of failure, they can't move to the right, they can't move to the left, why? They cannot invent new things, why? Because they don't want to fail, or even the ones that have not failed, or maybe the one that have not failed before, he doesn't want to try anymore. And even the one that have not failed before, he just want to be perfect. He doesn't want to fail. So there are different stages. One thing you should understand in life is that there is life after failure. Failure is an interruption in life. It is not the end of the road and it is not the end of your life. <laughs> You know, it's just an interruption. The world is programmed that way. When you look at successful people, people who are successful have failed many times in life. Why? Because they keep trying. It's better to try and fail than not to try at all. It's better to keep trying. Your destiny is not cancelled by failure. You have to understand that failure is real. And you have to know what to do with failure. You have to know how to handle failure. Successful people, they fail a million times. There's a saying that goes that, that if you fail a thousand times, you just discover that it's not going to work a thousand times through the procedure you used. So you have to keep moving. Failure shouldn't stop you. Failure shouldn't make you stagnant. So the question would be, how do we overcome it? What do we do about it? And how do we overcome it? I am already in the mess. I have failed many times. There are so many decisions I've made in my life that it didn't happen the way I planned. I just learned better through my process in life. How to do it better. When to do it better. I did not allow my failures to keep me down. I did not allow... I have written exams so many times that I, I failed. But what did I do? I 
had to learn how to handle failure. Successful people, they will tell you they have missed the lane many times. I had to deal with my failures. And that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm sharing this with you. I have failed many times and I have bounced back many times. So if you have already failed, what do you do? Okay, the first thing is you have to accept that you have failed. People keep failing in life. They keep repeating one lane. Why? Because they don't tell themselves the truth. They don't accept it that they have failed. They just refuse to accept that they have failed. Your inability to handle it effectively, that is where the problem is. So handling failure effectively takes you up. Or you confess it. Admit it. Admit that you failed. Accept that you failed. And take responsibility of it. When you fail, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, Hey girl, I failed. Hey favor, you failed. You know, you tell yourself that you have failed. And you accept it that you have failed. And you admit that you have failed. That is why people keep failing. And that is why they don't move to the next level. That is why they are stagnant. Why? Because they don't accept the fact that they have failed. At that present um, situation, they don't admit that they have failed. They don't confess that they have failed. When you fail, you admit it. And you take responsibility of your failure. Don't start shifting it to someone else. Or don't start saying, oh, it was because of this I failed. No, you don't explain it. When you are someone who really wants to move, when you are someone who really wants to go higher in life, you want to have a lot, you want to, you want to succeed, you don't shift blames to others. You don't say this is the reason why you failed. You take responsibility of your failure. What if a man who failed his wife and cheated on his wife, for instance, you start explaining that it was because the lady wore a sexy skirt that made you, that made you fail? What if it's the woman, same thing? That it was because the man was so caring that makes you fail? No. Or maybe you failed in business. You are set that you have failed. Maybe you failed in your academics. No matter what level of failure, you accept it, you admit it, and you take responsibility of your failure. You must agree never to defend yourself. Never to explain why you failed. And that is the simple way to overcome failure. And you must learn. I'm one of those people who don't really work with, oh, experience is the, is the best teacher. Fine, 50% I agree. But experience is not actually the best teacher in all cases. Because most people can die through experience. You know, people can lose their life during experience. But you have to be able to know why you fail. That's why you are accepting it. You, you have to be able to understand why you failed, why you are in the mess, and you take responsibility of it. Then you move to the next thing. You move to the next level. You, you bubble up in your game. So that's the easiest way to overcome failure. You don't explain. You don't give reasons. You accept it. I have come to the to the end of today's episode. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I said I was going to make it brief and I succeeded in making it brief. I didn't fail in making it brief. <laughs> but I hope I was able to transfer the vibe. I hope I was able to transfer that ginger, that spices, you know. I hope it got to you. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, let me, let me know on the comment section. And don't forget to like, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And and don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you already subscribed please just press touch patch click that notification bell so that you can always get all my videos and get the notification immediately after i upload and promise me you're going to stay happy see you in the next episode see you on tuesday bye